as I was saying, the exhaust manifold and that was defreaded. Um, so I have to sort that out today. The GoPro just went off and I've just restarted it, so that'll be one and two video. That'll be the same one. Uh, mine has uploaded both of them. Fuck it. And don't put the nuts on there, put them up there. Because uh, you could drop it down into the engine and then you won't find it. So, we're going to keep it plain and simple. And this is going to make it easier for me to get to my oil filter that we're going to fit today. The weather's a bit shit, but I'm sure we can work around that. That should be all right. All right. Bloody weather's crap, isn't it? Right, here we go. Um, that should unclip. From there. Should unclip from there, shouldn't it? I'm a little fucking dirty when I went off roading yesterday. Um, do is this this is what I could do is this this here oh that's it let's take that one out of there And we are going to disconnect this one here. Oh, I need a fucking pair of pliers on that one. Which I should have here somewhere. There we go. Right. Here we go. Yep, that's that disconnected. That's my temperature switch in there. There, look, that's my lovely temperature switch. Temperature sensor. And what I will say is at the back of here, we can just undo this. I don't really want to undo that, actually. I want to tap that off. I fucking will tap that off. Right, let's clap. A large, nice screwdriver because we are going to tap this off. There we are. Oh, that's, that's moved around. I actually can't see. Oh, that comes off. But they're fucking cunts to get off. Right. Now, at the bottom, there's like a switch. There's like a little thing to take them off. And I think it's the same. As I disconnected that. See? That. See? It's a fucking bitch to get off. So I fucking hate this job. But it's got to come off. Alright, okay. I put the fucking screwdriver into the back and then we're just gonna clip it like that. Oh, I've actually split it, that. 
I don't care about that because I can just tie wrap it. It's not a problem. I ain't got all day. I don't fucking have all day because the rain is kicking in. And I don't want to get soaking wet over an oil change and manifold problems. But what I will say is, guys, is this. Put your battery in that back in the tool bag. Grab your bits and pieces, put them in. Because this is a pain in the ass. Right. So what I will say is, that's a 19 mil. What size is that? I think they're like a 17 of them. Which is on here, on this drill. Um, right, disconnect that, disconnect that. Put that to there. And we are gonna disconnect this. Pull this off, look how easy that is, guys. Look how easy that is. And then we're gonna, wow, that. I'm gonna have to undo that by hand. Right, grab your tool kit, guys, and you just stick it in the back of the car because I don't fancy my stuff getting all wet. Right, so, put the tool kit there, that there, grab hold of this. Just to let you guys know, the reason why I do do my own car is because I don't trust mechanics. I don't like mechanics because they lie. They uh, mess your car up, then you, you have to then spend more money on getting the work done. So this is the reason why I've learned to do my own car. And thanks to some of you guys on YouTube that's actually helped me out to rebuild an engine. Thanks to the YouTube people, um, some people on YouTube has actually helped me and directed me in the right precision of taking my Jiminy engine apart and rebuilding it. So I will say, thanks to the ones that shared their videos and put their videos up of rebuilding a Suzuki Jiminy Samurai engine. I will say that. Thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, I would probably not know what to do. I'd have had to figure it out for myself and probably damaged a lot of shite. Damaged a lot of stuff. So, well, it looks like that exhaust manifold has got red hot because of the colour. Look at that. Look at that. Right. Now we're getting into uh, looking for the nut and thing for that, won't we? See, it's why I got distracted. I always get distracted, I don't worry about it. You gotta bear with me sometimes. 16, I'll take that with me. Um, 15, I don't think it's a 15. I'd imagine it's a 16, it's not a 19. I think it was a 19. What size is this? An 18. So we'll try these two. <coughs> I'm actually sure, no, it's smaller. So, 15. Might actually, no, 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 no. I know what I'm up to now. It's a 13. We're gonna take that. 15. Right, we're gonna take a 13, which is, that's not a fucking 13, I know. Um, a 14. Nah, look. That looks more like it, doesn't it? A 15. Uh, it's showing. It's a 14. 15, that's a 14. Right, we'll take the 14 then. I will get there in a minute. It's been a long time since I took this manifold off. I've been meaning to get round to doing it, but I haven't. Which is a bit stupid. I can have that. That one isn't all that tight. Right. Hey, you don't really need a wind up in that tight. 
They did rain today, which is a bit of a shit. Doesn't matter. I'm only draining the oils underneath the car, so I can always pull the bonnet down on that. Yeah, that one was tight. That's because I tightened that. No one else wanted to tighten these up, only me. I've had this car parked more times than what has been driven. But, like I say, I like to uh, keep on top of my car. And the reason why we're taking it apart today is as I was saying in the first first video it was running funny and when your motor runs funny oh yeah, I might have hit a bit of water and it's done it because I went through some deep water the other day I haven't showed that on a video but I will make some videos up going through deep stuff it's right when you can do your own car now and you've and it's not even doing your own car you've got to have the money and i've had to save up to do it otherwise i'd have been doing this a long time ago but i will say before we go any further i've actually got a re-thread kit and i'm hoping this bolt is going to fit so let's check it out now this is my new re-thread kit I hope this is gonna fit if it ain't then we won't be doing a manifold today the exhaust manifold ah uh, the fuck out well that man got it wrong in the shop I got it right that fits that fits, I'm not lying, an absolute dream. Do you think that fits in there? I reckon it does. Matey, in that shop that sold me these parts, said they're smaller. So he got that wrong. So I think he needs to, put, I need, I think he needs to work on his car parts a bit more. He needs to study a bit more, I think. I mean, I only look at stuff and I know sizes um, when it comes to defreading kits and stuff like this all I do is I just look at it and I know the size I can roughly picture the size in my head I don't know, mill, I ain't got a clue what that is I just know by looking at something whether it's going to fit or not so yeah, it fits so we're going to carry on with this job You like that, pal? Tell you what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> this is going on YouTube tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mush, I've had to order, yeah? I've ordered all oh, everything, Mush. Have a look at my passenger seat. No. Have a look at it all. Yeah, because my engine's running funny. Look. <laughs> That come to fifty pounds sixty pence. Yep. Ugh. That one was a tight one. Right. Get in it. Yeah. Oh mate, I'll see in a minute. This is a pain in the ass, this is. Can I have your job? Well, I need to get my brake apart. I need to get my fucking brake bar out. Hey guys, come have a look at this for a brake bar. Right, all this is in my way. Right, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. Now, this. And the hit is where I keep my breaker bar. 
a lovely snap on there we are this is a quality brand of a snap on bar now this you're gonna love this see this bar owes me nothing oh, this bar owes me not a single penny because i paid 50 quid of someone this is a hundred pound bar and i paid 50 pound second hand not too bad is it it's not too bad i paid 50 quid oh that was nice and loose i paid 50 pound for this bar and i'm not gonna lie it's the best bar i've ever had because it saves you being in the shit oh look at that the brackets actually come off we're gonna stick that up on the window there <sighs> Oh, look, we've got another nut right here at the back. I might be able to get the breaker bar in there. If we walk around here without standing on the other bits and pieces. All right. Right, no, 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 no. Let's take that out. What we're going to do, we're going to lay that breaker bar. Go careful when you pull it across batteries because batteries and metal don't get on. <coughs> They don't get on, I'm afraid, so I've had it happen before. And it shit the fucking life out of me. Ah, oh, look at that. There's no way, like this, motherfucker, should be off in a short, quick fuse. I should be able to get in there with my fingers. Oh, actually, it's actually just a, a nut. It's actually a nut. So, right, where's the other? Oh, look at that. We always get one. Right, I think this is the one that the threads went. Yes, that's the one. So we've got to get it right, guys, haven't we? 